Hello there, Drupal friends, and welcome to another episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we're on episode number 43. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3, or you can come over to the codekarate.com website, check out the other videos, maybe sign up for the newsletter, and look at the other posts. Today, we're going to be talking about the external links module. This is a very simple module that is used on a lot of Drupal websites but we'll go over it and you can see how simple and easy it is to use and how useful it can also be so we have our development test website right here it's a fairly standard Drupal 7 site with some custom modules on it right now but we're gonna go ahead and download the external links module so I'm going to use Drush I'm going to go ahead and just Drush download that module I'm also going to then enable it with Drush. I'm going to come over to the test site now, click on modules. You can see that the external links module has been turned on. I'm going to click on configure and look at the different configuration options that this module provides. So the first one is to add an icon to external links. This will place a little icon that you can see here next to any links that go outside your website. So if I post a link to google.com for instance, it will add a little icon here to inform the users that this link is not going to take you to another page on the site, but is going to in fact open a new website altogether. There can be a little mail icon next to mail to links. Uh, you can also consider the subdomains internal you can make links open a new window, you can display a pop-up warning, and you can have a pop-up warning text as well. We're going to leave everything at its default and we're going to come back to the front page. And as you can see I have a link here and I also have this mail to link. You can see it automatically placed this little mail icon next to it. I'm going to go ahead and just add a basic article with a couple links in it. So I'll go ahead and place an external link here. And I will also go ahead and add the HTML version. And then we're going to just add a web or a link that's also on the same so, or we'll we'll add a link on the same site as well. So we'll go So now we have three links here. We're going to go ahead and click save. And as you can see, this google.com link automatically got the little icon, the google website link which goes to the same URL got the little icon but the demo site did not so let's go ahead and just yeah, as you can see if we click on this it just brings me to google.com of course but let's go ahead and change a few of the options just to look at what it will do let's go ahead and say we want to display a pop-up warning so we'll save that refresh the page here and we'll click on this you can see it gives you a little JavaScript pop-up that says this link will take you to an external website. Hit OK and it of course redirects you. There are a few other options you can play with here but as you can see this module is extremely simple but by adding this little icon especially if you have a content heavy site maybe it's a blog maybe you're posting articles and you want users to know that this link is not actually a part of your website and is in fact going to take them to another website. This module will fit the bill rather nicely and it's an easy drop-in module and you're good to go. Uh, I believe it's all done mainly through jQuery so it uses JavaScript to create this little icon as it scans the page for links but it's very useful so go ahead and give it a try and check out the other videos on codekarate.com if you have any suggestions for videos that you would like me to do go ahead and click on the contact form here 
or you can send me uh you can tweet me on twitter and we'll go from there thanks again for watching the daily dose of drupal and we will be back next time